the listening station too. It hears the grasshopper leap from leaf to leaf. It hears the stream slowly, slowly flow. It hears the rain smash into the soil. It hears the cluck clucking of a chicken. It hears the drip drop of a tap. It hears a spray can being used. It hears the fire crackling. It hears the ring of an empty glass. It hears the crack of a closing door. It hears ball being booted. It hears the drop of a heavy bag. It hears the ring of a bell by Billy Davis. The shell. It hears a pattern of a tiger or is it a zebra? The pink stripes move on top. It reminds me of a slide or is it a Christmas tree? It came from a sparkly ocean underneath the grey rocks. It hears the music of the waves crashing. It hears the coral singing. It sees the fish is playing and a sunset rising over the sea. The shell secret is a blossom shining shell over the sea by Rosie Parrish. Fog coming. Fog coming. Silent snake. It spreads its poison. Seeps round every corner. A hiss but no rattle. Here. Gone. Fog coming. Sneaking. Coyote. It bares its teeth. Lets itself in. A growl but no roar. Here. Gone. Fog coming. Gliding. Nightingale. It flutters its wings. Slips in through each gap, a coo but no caw. Here, gone. By near Boland. Bye. How to see the sea. Equipment. A ladder, a house, a map, some sand, an old brother or sister and a bucket full of imagination. Method. One. Get your older brother or sister to buy a ladder. Two, place the ladder by your house. Three, climb up the ladder. Four, don't fall. Five, open your map. Six, look for the blue. Not, don't look at the sky, but at the sea. Seven, when you get, find the blue, get your sand. Eight, throw the sand up into the air. Nine, there you have it, a seaside. Ten, or you could just go to the beach. Buying Harry Bradley. Storm. The storm comes, strikes like a ripper. It signals its arrival, sound after sound. Leaves destruction in its wake, but hardly seen. And as it comes, light shines, leaving pain behind and slightly sneaking out. By Ed Brown. Me. If I were a pair of shoes, I'd want to have heels. If I were a pencil, I'd want to be sharp. If I were a laptop, I'd want to be useful. If I were a rainbow, I'd want to be colourful. If I were a fruit, I'd want to be juicy. If I were a window, I'd want to have a view. If I were a book, I'd want to be read. If I were a bag, I'd want to be stuffed. If I were a heart, I want to be filled. By Melissa Silk. The right school, down the long lane, past all the houses, clouds making pictures, birds flying in the sky, getting on the bus, sitting by my friends, looking at the bus driver to see if he's doing his job, going past the town, down the road, journey has ended, getting off the bus, looking at school, by Catherine Brown. The snow comes on big cat feet. It lies looking over the cliffs and mountainside on a silent breeze, then moves on to its cave, by Bethany. How to not fall down two flights of stairs. 
Don't move your rainbow coloured chair right next to the stairs. Definitely don't fall down the stairs on the chair, getting the legs and arms twisted this way and that. Don't forget to have 20 buckets of plaster of Paris ready. Really, don't leave the skateboard at the bottom of the stairs. Don't forget to buy lots of first aid kits and books ready when lavender is in the house. By Lavender Lake. If. If I were small, I'd want to be big. If I were a stream, I would want to be the ocean. If I was chocolate, I'd want to be galaxy. If I were lonely, I'd want a friend. If I could draw, I'd want to be an artist. If I were a camper van, I'd want to go around the world and live. If I were an instrument, I'd want to flow like the wind. By Lily Carrington. Chicken. Chicken bones lay in the disgusting bin. There was a head, body and legs. Soon the rubbish men would take him away. He never liked to think this way. He shut his eyes and dreamt of his past. Back to when he was in an egg, or squished and curled up small, fighting his way out. He never liked to think this way. He shut his eyes and dreamt of his past. Back to when he was growing up with his fellow siblings, fighting to get to the food first. He never liked to think this way. He shut his eyes and dreamed of his past. Back to when he was caught, taken inside, stabbed by a knife. Not one more sound did he make. He never liked to think this way. He shut his eyes and dreamt of his past. Back to when he was taken out the freezer and shared with his family. And then he was no longer there. By Kirsty Bram. Eight, throw the sand up into the air. Nine, there you have it, a seaside. Ten, or you could just go to the beach. Buying Harry Bradley.